Campus, Tornado World Instant Status of Today for Friday, November 4th. I'm Madison. And I'm Brooklyn. Today, the football team will travel to Tawanda Circle for the first round of playoffs. Then on Tuesday, Gold Clubs will meet during advisory. Now let's go to the halls with Aaliyah for the CTE Spotlight. It's Aaliyah in the halls, and I'm going to interview Mr. Meekum and Mr. Thompson about their Fire Science and LPSS program. Let's go. I'm here with Mr. Meekum and Mr. Thompson. I'm going to ask you guys some questions about your class. Is that all right? Sure. Okay, so what does your Fire Science class offer? Fire Science offers you the opportunity to get your associate's degree at Coffa Community College. It's kind of a uh, precursor to going and getting your Firefighter 1 and 2. You can get um, up to 12 college credit hours over your course of the, the semester, and then you can get in and do the uh, ride-along program if you stay in and do your grades and have fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now, what does your LPSS class offer? LPSS is the intro to get into fire science, which Josh, he's an actual firefighter at Coffeyville Fire Department, and I'm just a teacher, so I help him with the fire stuff. But the LPSS is what I teach to get into the fire class, so it includes a lot of firefighter classes. Um, we do a lot of intro to it, but we also include wildland firefighting, police, EMS, basically any job that is in the field of law and public safety. I try to hit an LPSS, see if you're interested in it. And if you are, you can go on and take fire science with Josh. Okay, thank you. And how long have you been teaching fire science? I've been teaching seven, seven or eight years here in the building. And then we teach the program over at Caney, and we've been doing that the last two years also. Okay, and how long have you been teaching LPSS? Uh, this is my 10th or 11th year doing LPSS and fire science. So I, I think I've done it every year the program has existed except one. And what do you plan to teach kids with fire science? This year they're doing um, just firefighter basics, just kind of introduction to firefighting overall. We'll do wildland firefighting second semester. The next year we'll do two different classes. I'm not sure which ones they are, so they can come in and get four, four classes over a two-year period. Okay, and what do you plan to teach kids for LPSS? Uh, well, we've already taught basic firefighting, basic wildland firefighting, and now we're on basic police where we just learn equipment, salary, career information, job description. And then we move on to uh, EMS next after probably Thanksgiving break, and then we kind of finish up with just a lot of small things like airport security, military, uh, any other small job that has to do with public safety. Uh, some of the cool stuff that we do in both classes, especially in the fire class. Uh, we get to go out, mess with the hoses, spray water, learn about the trucks, climb the ladder, do water rescue down at the pool. Um, so there is a lot of note taking and learning book stuff, but there's also a lot of hands on. So we try to make the classes as fun as possible. Okay, thank you both. Thank you both for that interview. Now back to the studio with Brooklyn and Maddie. Thursday is a late start day. Now to the halls with Jacob for this week's special. Thanks, Maddie and Brooklyn. I'm here in the halls, and we're going to spin the wheel of misfortune. I'm here with Mr. Lopez, and he's going to spin the wheel of misfortune. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Now, all you got to do is just spin it yourself, okay. and whatever it lands on is what you have to do. Okay. Sounds easy you know. Would you like to dance for one minute? Yeah, sure. I guess I have to. Okay, then get to dancing. Well, that was fun. Are you happy you did it? No. <laughs> Wonderful. That's all we have in Mr. Lopez. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Ms. Shields, and she's going to spin the Wheel of Misfortune. Are you ready? I'm ready. Looks like you're going to have a staring contest with a person of your choice. Who is it? My choice? Um, you. Okay. Uh, yeah, start in three, two, one, go. And you have it here, Miss Shields, a winner. <laughs> Do you, are you happy with doing this? I'm happy with doing this. Nice. Well, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm here with Miss Harold, and she's going to spin the wheel of misfortune. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. 
It's a teacher's choice, so you get to pick any of the punishments on the wheel that you have to do. Okay. <laughs> Here's the trivia question. What color is octopus blood? Is it black, blue, red, or clear? Blue. Blue. You're correct. Well, the thank you for the wheel misfortune. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's all we have for today. A lot of people spun the wheel, and it was some fun. Now let's go back to the studio with Maddie in Brooklyn. Thanks, Jacob, for that marvelous special. That's all the news we have for you this week. I'm Madison, and I'm Brooklyn. Tune in next week for more of the twist. Thanks, guys. It's Colton. Welcome to the Feel Good Story of the Week. Every week, go sit and share some of me feel good, and hope the same to you guys. 100-year-old William Good, a World War II veteran, was surprised with a trip to Disneyland by a complete stranger, Isaiah Garza. The pair recently went viral on social media for their trip to Disneyland, as well as other things. After seeing how much Good enjoyed the trip, Garza surprised him with one more unforgettable moment. He decided to take Good to see his favorite football team, the Los Angeles Rams, in action. At the game, Good had a custom-made jersey signed by Cooper Cup and most of the team, and was able to try on one of the Rams' championship rings. Afterwards, Good declared, it's one of the best days of my life. I love hearing about this stuff, how people can come together and, without even knowing each other, make people's days brighter and have a little happiness in life. And on the state history, in 2001, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the first film adaptation of J.K. Rowling's novels, premieres in London. Thanks guys. Be safe, be happy. Peace.